Erdbeben is a highly important topic here in Qatar. The projects are there which, which would like to use this technology, which would like to use uh, BIM on a regular basis, and the people would like to know uh, how to approach that, yeah? how to find a strategy, how to find a way to successfully use uh, those systems. And the number of people you have seen today shows a little bit the interest, and that's amazing. Yeah? It's very good. And we should proceed, that is, that is what Qatar needs, yeah? to have uh, uh, a knowledge platform uh, in Qatar where people can come to without any, any marketing, ad, any advertisements. They, that is a platform here uh, to, to share knowledge and to discuss what, what are right concepts, what are good experiences. And this is what we like and therefore we as Optify can support uh, this BIM user days. We'll cre create awareness. Uh, and this awareness leads to more serious work of having uh, an institution here that trains and certifies both individuals and companies and works also hand, uh, hand in hand with the government in um, uh, setting standards and enforcing those standards. I think that the introduction was really great. Uh, that the, uh, the, the where the students got together and put together the problems that occur on site and they do occur uh, uh, often uh, and, and the expectation of BIM uh, without actually having the right substance behind it that was a great illustration. BIM is, is very important as you know we as College of Engineering we serve the industry and we serve the country so uh, there is a both of a, a demand and leadership at the same time. Uh, we would like to provide the industry with professionals or people who are at the beginning of their professional career who are ready to take responsibility. Education is a very important part of our services here in Qatar. We developed already four years ago a, a concept how to uh, educate and how to certify BIM managers. And in our projects, we, we have made very good experiences here in Qatar uh, uh, to educate uh, BIM managers uh, within our projects. And we are already in discussions with Qatar University, with our good relationship here with Qatar University, to transport this idea as well to the curriculum level here. Actually, BIM is going to be mandatory for many uh, engineering and, and, and construction professionals. It's going to be demanded by many uh, government agencies as a requirement. So the professional team uh, is a must, and we're going to be a cornerstone in this, uh, in this professional team. We would like to provide them with young, educated people who will be the core of, of this uh, industry. I can see people here from all sectors. I can see engineers, architects. I can see people from uh, client uh, organizations such as Ashgal and others. I can see also educators here from university background and, and uh, students. So I think we, we see the entire spectrum of the BIM users, whether they are from uh, the client, the, the designer, the co uh, contractor, or the education field. This is why we are here. Um, we've been working for the last few years with Qatar University and with industry around Qatar, which it happens to be most of them are multinationals bringing a massive wealth of knowledge and expertise and experience and what we try to do is to cultivate this into some educational and training programs for young Qataris, uh, perhaps uh, young experts here studying to, to then take the lead and develop the, um, the construction industry a little bit better and when we say better and more efficient meaning that a better information flow, a better coordination and a better way of, of working. The UK initiative is supported by Cabinet Office. You can't get much higher than that. And I think that, that if we want that initiative to happen anywhere else, and I think that needs to be done. And the, the, the good thing that actually we've had in the UK is that we have Cabinet Officers who understand what this is about. So we've managed to educate them, we've managed to persuade them this is the right way to go, but now they're push, pushing us to say, now you've got to deliver. So I think 
bring it here is possible, but it won't come from the bottom up, it'll come from the top down.